Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here with the Lego Republic bringing you another video. In today's video, we will be checking out the 75948 Hogwarts Clock Tower with 922 pieces. The set retails for 90 bucks. That's all you need to know. The box art looks like this. You can see the front on the top. It has a bunch of mini figures that come in the set. On the back, it shows the features of the set, but we're going to get into that, so it doesn't matter. And then on either side, there's not much. So, if you want to look more at the box, look at another video. In today's video, I have a giant plan, and it's keep this video short. These videos have been getting pretty big recently, and I haven't liked how big they're getting. So I'm definitely going to try and get this one in under 10 minutes. So um, let's start off with the minifigures and go super fast through them. Our first figure up here is Harry Potter, and he is in a suit, just like in the uh, scene from the movie which this is from. If you turn him around, you'll see his other back suit thing and his alternate face, basic Harry Potter. Cedric Diggory here is also in a suit, and it looks like it's sort of the same um, to Harry's, except the uh, bow tie is a little different color. Um, if we turn him around, you'll see his torso print on the back, which looks like a regular torso print. He has some uh, cool hair here, um, pretty nice, and then you'll see his alternate face. He has Ron in his dress robes, and he looks super funny. This is pretty accurate from the movie. I think the uh, torso print is kind of funny and then his face there. Uh, moving around you'll see the same torso print on the back and a different expression probably when Floor like declines him from dancing with her or something like that. And here is Fleur. Not much to talk about here. No actual dress print here on the um, the, the actual dress piece but uh, I guess there is a nice torso print there. As always, unfortunately, the Lego skin tone, which is printed onto Lego bricks, never really shows is the exact same color, so you can see the offset of tan uh, from um, on her torso as opposed to her head. Kind of annoying. I get her mixed up with Luna Lovegood all the time, and it's quite annoying too. Um, if we go back to the back, you'll see no printing on this bottom piece, but still on the uh, middle piece, and you'll see that the tan section on the torso looks ugly, and then you will see her back face. Here's Cedric Diggory, he might have come with a wand, I don't know where it put, or it got put. You'll see a nice hint of like a cape there on the right side is, uh, with the belts and stuff. He looks really good for um, what he's supposed to be. Turn him around, you'll see the actual fur coat, um, and he's like a viking dude, so, or like he's from that area, so it makes sense. And then you'll see his alternate face, probably happy from when he's dancing with Hermione. And here's Hermione, and... The best thing I can say is that Hermione is perfectly accurate from the movie. <laughs> so you'll see, um, what's kind of weird about her is her legs are actually just a brick that they've printed on, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, you'll see, dropped her there. Um, if we turn her around, you'll see the kind of like the same print on the back, but it kind of gets hit by her hair, so it's not like a fancy. Goodness gracious, and then you have her uh, back face right there. So they did give Dumbledore, of all people, uh, printing on his uh, legs on the actual dress piece, so kind of nice, but it looks like a little offset too, which is not very awesome. And as of course, the white isn't the pure white that it should be, it's of course the doled down Lego version, so that's, that's a little bit annoying, um, but it's supposed to be white robes that are going down the entire way. Anyway, um, if we turn him to the back here, you'll see this hair piece, which is molded into the hat, which is really cool, and then you'll see his back face, but you never really see more than just his eyes, it's like he's wearing a face mask the entire time. Oh, and then there's some back printing on the back too. Really nice figure. The next figure is Madame Maxine, and she looks, you know, decent. I'm a little confused as to why she's uh, only slightly taller than Hagrid. She's about the same size as Hagrid, and Hagrid's supposed to be a half giant, so shouldn't she technically be a full giant, so like twice the size of Hagrid? Also, they came out with a full giant set. It's called Grop. Actually, it's called Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter. You should check it out. It has amazing centaurs in the set. But, um, should she be as big as that? Because if that's what the in-scale giant is like, then shouldn't she be way taller? But anyway, nice figure. If we turn her around to the back, you'll see more printing on that piece, which is really awesome. A lot of printing on her, and she looks really good. There's a few mini builds here as to suggest, you know, some other area that you can make to be the Yule Ball. These little tables are kind of nice. You have them made out of li little icicles as for the stands, and then it has the actual stand that's kind of hidden on the underside. Just a place to put little goblets, and then they each have ice sculptures. This one has a lot more ice sculptures on this one. And then, of course, the Christmas tree looks good as always. It's basically the standard build where they use these little curved 
or not curved, but like diagonal pieces, and they just do it four times. It's really basic. It was in the advent calendar, just at a smaller scale. The Hogwarts castle is in three sections, so let's take a look at the first one. This first little area that we have here is actually Dumbledore's office and the bathroom. So if we take a look at the bathroom first, this is actually supposed to be the prefix bathroom and you can tell that by the amazing um, sticker, unfortunately, uh, it is a sticker, but it is amazing uh, depiction of stained glass windows. And so this is supposed to be the prefix bathroom, the egg kind of gives it away. They use some blue lightsaber pieces as running water and you can have uh, both Harry and Cedric come in here to take a bath with the egg and to get the noise. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just go read the Harry Potter books, they're good. Um, on top of that, we have Dumbledore's office. You can actually take your Dumbledore minifigure here, but before I put him in, let me please go over the inside here. There's a bunch of stickers on the inside making it look a lot more spacious than it is. There's supposed to be a Gryffindor sword right there, but it looks like someone has removed it. It's just a basic standard um, castle sword. Actually, it's the one I removed for my sig fig. Yeah, so if you see my sig fig, it's that one. Um, and then there's a cool looking pensive, some bookshelves or hints of bookshelves, and then Dumbledore's desk. There's a little fox back there. Uh, we got a brick built one in the Great Hall, but there's a, a printed one in the back. But what you can do is you can take Dumbledore as expected and put him in his seat and he fits in there rather well if he doesn't knock the ink thing out of the way. Um, goodness gracious. Okay, but he sits in there, but the kind of annoying thing about it is that um, he can't ever sit. So if he's sitting in his office, I mean, I suppose he could get a different Dumbledore, but like this Dumbledore that they include in the set can't actually sit. So you're never going to get him lower than that. Next up is this little area of dancing, and you can see it's kind of inverted, which is kind of nice if you have it on your castle. You'll see a bunch of these little uh, piece things, and that's the function right there. If you spin these individual things, the entire thing spins, so you can actually have, you know, multiple couples here, up to four. There's actually eight people included in the set, so you could have every single person, every figure on here, which is nice. It's better than the ATAT -AT guys. They, they fill out the seats, okay? They fill out the seats, all right? So, and then if you spin them, they'll, they'll spin like that, which is kind of neat. And it goes around. Not that this is something I would ever play with because like, why would I want to act out the Yule Ball? But you know what? It's, it's a nice feature, I guess. For the clock tower, we'll start out here with the bottom angle, and then we will go up. If you see in the front here, there's a about like I don't know how many studs like 36 studs for you to put figures here which is pretty nice um, you'll see you have a lot more unicorn horns here and some railings which is nice and then an open door instead of a closed door like most ones um, in the Harry Potter stuff um, but you can turn this around you'll see the inside here we have the goblet of fire and a little chest which looks like it doesn't have much in it just a few more unicorn horns and some gems and you can put that right there easily uh, replaceable and deplaceable. Um, if we look up top, this is actually going to be the um, Defense Against the Dark Arts. You can see a little sticker up there that says Moody and has a list of things that Professor Moody wants them to do. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's basically telling you that this comes from um, the fourth book. If all of the Yule Ball stuff didn't, you know, get your attention, then you see this desk here, kind of common nowadays. Um, you got a bunch of dark instruments and stuff around, and then a, another Wingardium Leviosa sticker book, so not anything fancy. But you could take a figure and put him in there, I suppose, but there's not really any point in me doing that right now. Hopefully all of you know how a chair works. Like, if I have to tell you that a person sits in a chair, don't come for that here. I don't do that on this channel. So, um, you can see a little better view of the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom there. Nothing too fancy, but on the top we have... Uh, a great room in my opinion. This one really delivers, in my opinion. You have the hospital wing. Now, it looks really good. They weren't able to capture like the pure white that I would have thought that the hospital wing had, but I think that they nailed the beds. The beds here of the hospital wing, and then they have these little curtain things that are hanging there, and that looks really cute. There's not a lot of place to put figures alongside the beds, but you can fit a figure in the bed there. There's Harry, and you know, we'll take Cedric because he's dead. And we'll put him over here in this bed, awaiting, you know, the, uh, the second life. And so they'll both be sitting in there and they look pretty good. Now you'll notice this little lever thing. And so if we flip our uh, eyes towards the front of the set, we'll see some nice, you know, detailing and stuff. So, you know, pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, but you'll notice the nice clock there. And this actually is, made, is a shield piece, which is kind of cool. 
um, but you'll see these little knobs and actually if you just rotate that knob in the back it will spin the entire clock so you can actually change the time which is pretty neat it's called the clock tower and you can actually change the time on the clock well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There's one little bit of information I forgot to include. And it's the fact that this actually is connected with one Technic pin and one bluish Technic pin. You know, the one with the, uh, the Technic Plus on one side and the Technic pin on the other. I found that to be very annoying and very weird. I don't know why they would just keep that the same throughout all the sets. But you know what? That the first one had all regular, this one had weird, the third one had all regular, so I don't really know what's up with that. But I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't like this video, I hope you like other videos that will be on the end screen coming up. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.